Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have placed concrete, no blowouts. It's good. Now it's time to strip forms. You might be wondering how long did we wait to strip forms? I don't remember. <laughs> it was at least a few days. This is actually footage of the first of the two foundations. Quite frankly, I was burned out on the second one. Didn't bother. I knew I had good footage here because it was a nice sunny day. So this is what you're looking at is foundation number one that was poured. In the last video, you saw us pour foundation number two. So let's just get into it. There is nothing about stripping foundations that's um, mentally difficult. It's just undoing everything that we just did. <laughs> so, and we can go faster doing it. Now you can see why it is that we like to use screws. There's no impact on our bodies at this point. And, and by the way, we do save all of those screws. Um, we're gonna use those up for other things similar to this. So it's like duplex nails, they would just get thrown away but we used all the screws from this job on the job next door. So, there you go. Tyler's using that little giant, boy, that little thing is just something else. We have just a few of those little giant ladders and I love them. That little guy is just one of my favorites. That tripod ladder is a Louisville ladder and we've used tripod fiberglass ladders for decades. Absolutely love and recommend them and Louisville has been really good for us. We buy them locally at Tacoma's Group. So, what our basic process is, Noah's up top, what he's doing is he's knocking off all the spreader cleats. Tyler and I are just taking off all of the, the wood cleats. So what we had done is we had reinforced every corner with uh, two by six. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, we screw our panels together and then over the top of that, we added a two by six like a corner and that way we just get more fasteners into the corner. And these things never creak. There was no popping as we placed concrete. It was awesome. So. We still have our scaffolding set up up high. That's what Noah's on. We leave that until the outside is stripped because it very easily allows us to get to that top row all the way around. I'll go that way. And then if you're there, go that way. Yeah. Come on. Once the cleats are off, just grab some empty buckets and start taking off those shoes or wedges. You could grab them and put them on the foundation or on the footing as you go. I find if I just throw them in the bucket. Uh, I try to only fill these buckets up maybe a little over half, otherwise they become too heavy to carry. <laughs> so, we, and since we're packing stuff out of a hole, you gotta kinda think ahead that way. Now this is why we leave the scaffolding in place. So just watch. Obviously we have to take panels off from the top down. And I need to pull the grade nails at the same time. Remember those are the little three penny finish nails that were tacked along a snap line that was set with a laser. Also, as I pound on the form, I can get any uh, concrete that's on top of the form just to come right off and then I don't have to scrape it later. Or if it's a little stubborn, I just use my hammer and I scrape the top of it while in there. Just try to do everything to that panel I can before I let go. Boom. Now, I don't recommend throwing panels off the wall where they land on edges, but I felt real comfortable that I could let that panel fall flat in the water. So no damage to the panel. We want these panels to have nice edges. We also want them to last a long time. So just keep that in mind as you're stripping. Um, we're not like super delicate with these things, but we also try not to gouge or, or like tear into them with a pry bar or anything like that. That pry bar, by the way, is the Dude Tools mini form buster. 36 inches long, I think. We used, uh, what are they, the Burke Bar Juniors for many, many, many years. Love them. But some kids stole them off our job site last summer, and so I decided to buy these mini form busters. Highly recommend these. They are awesome. Especially the knuckle saver feature on them. Is there anybody below me? Nope. Okay. Just uh, screw good. I'm glad I asked. I would have probably destroyed, well, I think I would have missed that impact driver, but still, why risk it? So good on uh, Tyler for keeping his eyes open. If you stand, are you able to reach here? And I can kind of hold it, stabilize it. Got it? 
Normally we stack our panels vertically and they're very easy to strip one person. I was a little skeptical like how we've never done horizontal, but as I mentioned in a previous video, we went that direction because it's easier to train. Frankly, it requires less finesse. I feel like it does require a little more bracing, but um, that's neither here nor there, nor anywhere. Taking these panels down turned out to be really easy. You can pound the snap ties up or just pry them up. And you'll see as we go through, mostly I just use my hammer to get between the panel and the concrete and then just pull them right off. And so what we did is we decided to be very systematic and work straight down each section of wall. So in this case, those are eight footers that are coming down. Then it will be a bunch of four footers. What the guys were doing is they were either I would scrape, you'll see that here in just a minute, but they would go and place them next door exactly in the spot that we would need them for the next job. And they would oil the panels with that JP strip, I think is what it's called, made by Dayton. Can you snag that? I'll, um, I'll try to scrape these as I go since you guys have to walk further. Came off a little easier than I was expecting, but at least it didn't land on my toes. I got out of the way. Teamwork makes for dream work. So we just kind of form an assembly line, frankly. I, I take the panels off and scrape them. Tyler and Noah take them next door, right where they're going to be needed, and they oil them. And Greg's running around um, doing some prep, taking down clips, pre-scraping the outside of the panels. So everybody had a job to do, then my brother showed up. And so on the left-hand side, just off a of frame, uh, they started on that side. So everybody just stays in perpetual motion, but nobody's running or trying to kill themselves. That's just, um, it's just not worth it. And would you believe it if I told you we had this thing stripped in one day? It's true. And I went home at lunch. Well, I worked through lunch. I had an appointment in the afternoon that I thought I was gonna have to cancel, but because we got so much done, I didn't have to. So how awesome is that? It was at the start of this wall that I started to think to myself, I bet we're gonna have this stripped by lunch. So this whole front face was stripped by lunch. Greg had already stripped the uh, opposite side there and was working on the left-hand side uh, with my brother. And so by lunchtime, we had three sides of the outside strip. So it really is just all about rhythm. Definitely, definitely do not try to kill yourself. You know, you got all day to strip this. Take your time, take care of your forms, take care of your body. And here's that side that my brother and Greg were working on. Same process. So they're just scraping panels and loading them on the forks. You can just see the fork there for the forklift. You can also see the buck out for the window and window well. Remember we talked about that a little bit earlier. That's the one that we screwed that eye joist across to keep it all in line. That's gonna provide egress for, for the bedroom downstairs. So on this house, it went from 10 foot to eight foot, came across then seven foot, six foot, down to four foot, turns the corner at two feet. And the reason for that, see the neighbor on the right, that gravel, that mimics their property and the step downs on their house, as well as their driveway. So we kind of matched our step downs as best we could to what their grade will be, because we don't want too much concrete sticking out of, out, of the, uh, out of the ground. It's just, it's not real pretty, right? So we try to minimize that as much as we can. Then we'll just build pony walls on top of it to match the floor height, side those things, easy. Now you can see why we left the staging up is we can get that top row pretty easily and scrape those. So once, the, once that top row is done, then we're gonna go ahead and take down the planks, 
take down our little knee braces and get going on the inside. So it's just more of the same, except now all four of us, or is there five of us? One, two, three, four, there's five of us. Now all five of us can just focus on the inside, stripping panels, taking um, spreader cleats off, organizing as we go. You can see it, it looks like a bomb went off. So usually one person will break off and start organizing things. And everybody knows what needs to be done, so you just get to work, plug in. There's a 10 foot, by the way, that Louisville ladder. That 10 foot ladder is so stable. I just can't say enough good things about them. I think we've had that ladder for about three years. We just buy them locally through our local Tacoma screws. Again, one thing I should point out is that nobody's yanking on things. I mean, you have to yank on the panels here and there and use a pry bar, but we're letting that impact driver do most of the work. I mean, think about pulling, I forget how many buckets of screws we had. So, I mean, think about pulling a thousand screws versus pulling a thousand nails. I'd rather pull screws. <laughs> it's just way easier. So yeah, it looks like a bomb went off. You just throw all the cleats out. It's better just to stay in a rhythm. I'm working through lunch, like I mentioned, I had an appointment and I wanted just to keep going. I kind of like stripping foundations, especially when the weather's good. I think it did start to drizzle just a little bit here and then blew out again. But it's just kind of mindless repetition. I listen to music through my Isotunes free. There's a coupon code in the description. Full disclosure, I do have a partnership with them now. Use their products for many years, but they're Bluetooth earbuds, so I can listen to music, take phone calls, and mute the world. Just get into my own little world there. The guys are gonna bring some buckets down after lunch. So I'm just taking all the shoes off and just throwing them in a pile. And then we'll just put them in buckets as we go. Now, as we all focus on the inside, we're gonna take those panels off, scrape them, do the same thing. A little easier to walk, right? There's no big mud puddle. But this time we're gonna spray them with form release as we go. That way they're prepped for the next job. So that's the basic process. There's really no rocket science to it. You just burn some calories, sweat, using the right tools. And with, um, with good organization, you don't have to work crazy fast, you just work steady. I should mention too that we always pick up our pieces last and that just allows us to keep them organized. It's a hassle hunting for pieces. So there's the method to our madness. Here is some obligatory drone footage of about that time. I was getting ready to leave, so I thought, well, I better quickly fly the drone around. Here's the progress. The outside's completely stripped. Now it's just a time to take the um, inside panels off. One thing too that we do with the forklift is we stack them in groups of 20. We go and set them aside and double sticker them. That way it's easy to count. It also is, yeah, everybody's happy. Everybody's having a good time. It's easier to count than if we need to go grab small batches. And the 40 works pretty well. Okay, there it is. It's a lot of work, a lot of stress. I am so happy that these are behind us. As of this video going live, these jobs are backfilled groundworks are going in for plumbing and there the two are now that they're fully stripped so they're going to fully backfill around those which is done now and get ready to pour basement slabs which we will not be doing we will sub those out anyway hey thank you everybody for following along these this was a lot of foundation videos i'm excited to get to something different i think you probably are too but thanks for hanging in there please hit that like and subscribe button if you feel like it and we will see you in the next video take care everybody Bye.